You got nothing. That's the bomb. Next. What am I doing, Wiles? Hey, Coach. Yes. When you, when you bump them, how, how does that change? Does that change the tackle at all? You, you, when you say bump the tackle, that was by himself. Right. I mean, his landmark. What is this? Outside number. I mean, outside, outside number. He's going to put his hat in the outside. He knows that he's got to slow himself down because he can't get wet. Four, five, four, and just go take him inside. Take him wherever he goes. Uh, uh, tr uh, trust me, if you get real good at it, it starts happening a lot. I've ricocheted a bump off into a slip. To right. to, I've ricocheted that. I work on it a lot because our D-O-N defense, they'll tighten this end up, offset the nose. We need help there. This guy pinches. The doctor does that. It ain't pretty, but you get to cover them up and hope the ball is good. Okay. Uh, any other questions so far? How am I doing back for time? You don't know. You don't know when I started. By Wiles' this clock, you still got about 20 minutes. Do it? What's that? 30 minutes. 30 minutes, thanks. Son of a gun. 25 pops. Yeah. Yeah, but Bob isn't in here pissing on me. Okay, here's onside. Uncovered overlap. There's two ways that overlap happens. One is the end is tight to the tackle. How can I do this? Sure. <coughs> There's the nose man. Here's the defensive end. He's heavy, he's tight on the tackle, almost head up. This guy, I don't even worry about that guy. But I'm the guard now. I'm making a decision. That guy's real tight to the tackle. Okay? And this linebacker is deep. Okay? It really helps. It really helps if you can distinguish in your film study whether the guy, whether the linebackers are guard readers or backfield readers. Backfield readers are quick flow people. Guard readers are slow play people. Okay? So, pretty good idea. I mean, if, no, that's up to you to determine how, that, how you determine that. But if this guy is a backfield reader, generally he's going to be deeper anyway. So if it looks like this, as opposed to he's standing up in here fairly close, what I'm going to do then is immediately, I'm just like that. I don't even think anything about it. Automatically go to, a, go to an overlap technique. Overlap technique. Okay. Now, if you're uncovered, you start with two hands. Tackle, you do exactly the same thing. Don't do, don't change. You do the same thing. Guard, or if it's the center, this could be the center with the middle linebacker and two defensive tackles. Now, the uncovered guy goes with two hands and works the whole process, starts with two hands, and, 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 and that process may go from two hands and then go from two hands go to one. This guy here is doing exactly the same shit he was doing. Okay? So now what I do, I don't even tell him. I don't have to tell him a thing. He didn't have to know anything. Okay? So now I got the linebacker here in front of me. He's deep. So and now I'm going to work, I'm still going to work this guy's foot, because he's closer to me. You know, he's pretty close to me. I'm starting like this. Look what my head's doing. Watch, I'll do it again. I'm going to do this. I'm going to look at the back of him. All right? I'm going to watch the back of him. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to look at the back or feel the pile, except I'm going to do it with two hands. And then if that end wants, or whoever that guy is, tackle, end, whatever the hell he is, if he wants to work across that guy's face, two goes to one, goes to the back. Okay, so I'm going to run up my, my buddy's back. In fact, in fact, I might even, Mac, let me borrow this. I'm going to run up your back. Be the behind. Okay, so he's locked up on this guy here, <coughs> bent forward, he's on the guy. I might even come like this and start pushing on his back. I may grab a hold of his shirt and give him a little, let him know where I am. Give him a little boost. Thank you. 